What's up, people? It is the 1st of June, which means one thing. A brand new Pokemon set is coming to the Pokemon TCG this month, and we know by now that it is Chilling Rain. I am so hyped for this set because there are some amazing cards coming, and we can officially look at all of the cards that are coming to the English print because they have actually been dropped onto the internet. So we're going to have a look today at all of the cards and the 55 cards that have been dropped from the Japanese set that is coming to the English set. So if you do enjoy this video, leave a thumbs up. If you are new, be sure to subscribe, but let's just jump straight into it. As you can see, I'm on an article right here, and it says we now have the complete set list for Chilling Rain, including all secret rares as well, by the way. And I've looked at these, I've had a little sneak peek, and they are incredible. So you're going to want to stick around and check these out, because there are loads of gold cards in this set. But it says our set will contain 233 cards. That is insane. That is an amazing amount. It's, it's absolutely huge. But it says it will officially hit stores on June 18th. So as of today... This set comes out in 18 days, and like I said, I'm absolutely hyped for it. And uh, we're about to look at the cards. So it says, our English set is a combination of cards from S5A Matchless Fighters and S6 Silver Lance and Jet Black. We knew it was going to happen, but 55 cards have been cut from the Art English set. This includes Arctivish V, Dragazolt V, and uh, Dragazolt V Max, which we're going to look at as well, all the cards. Um, we also aren't getting any special promo uh, of Celebi or Sandaconda V, which is slightly unfortunate because that um, alternate art of Celebi is absolutely amazing. And shout out to if, you, if any of you guys um, picked up that card, because I know some of you in my Discord have, um, because now there's not going to be an English print, that card is going to be very, very valuable. Um, they might do it down the line, but but yeah, if you manage to pick one of them up early, shout out to you. Um, and also be sure to join my Discord because a lot of you guys give some advice uh, over there. And we're actually building a sick community. We've got like over 500 people in there. But anyway, it says no regular foil cards were cut from our English set, only non holo cards. That's really good. Um, this means that we're going to be getting a bunch of regular filler cards in a future set. This also means one of our upcoming sets is going to have a mishmash set. Um, the 55 cards don't have anything in common other than they're largely unviable from a competitive standpoint. So they haven't really been put in the um, in the set because they're not really playable in the TCG. So we're not actually missing that much, to be fair, which is good. Um, it says our next English set is Evolving Skies in August, which will clearly be a combination of cards from uh, Japan's upcoming sets, Sky Stream and Towering Perfection. So that's um, I we have a lot of speculation that... It's going to be based around um, Rayquaza and potentially Eevee Heroes as well. So very, very much looking forward to that set. Um, it says, we don't know for sure what will happen with Eevee Heroes, but it will likely be folded into Evolving Skies because of the evolving in the name, um, like I just mentioned. The Inteleon slash Gengar VMAX decks and the promo VMAXs may be thrown into um, since they're only released at the same time as Eevee Heroes. So maybe, maybe they'll be put in as well, which would be really cool because uh, there is a really cool uh, Gengar VMAX card, which looks sick. So it says, then since the 55 cards um, aren't urgent to release, they will probably be saved for the November set. This could be our mishmash set. Um, the selling point of this set would be the V Union mechanic. So there's a brand new card coming to the November set, which is going to be insane. Maybe it's kind of like tag teams, like we don't know anything about V Union, but maybe it's like tag team GXs that we had in the Sun and Moon era, like two tag team Pokemon. We don't know. Um, it says we would likely get the first V Union set in uh, from Japan in September, offering at least 70 new cards which could form the core of our November set. Okay, I'm um, just seeing if anything else there. The English set could also add cards from Japan's upcoming V Union box. Um, the second family box set. Okay, so that's just talking about future sets. We're here about Chilling Rain. Let's just get into it. So we got all these standard cards, which is very cool. We're going to be looking at the big cards today um, because there's no point looking at just the fillers and stuff like that. So we've got Celebi here. Very cool. I love the artwork. Just looks really, really beautiful. Unfortunately, like I mentioned, we're not going to be getting the alternate art, which is incredible. But... It, it's just unfortunate and there's nothing we can do about it. Here is the VMAX Celebi. Very cool again. Uh, I'm trying to make this video as short as possible for you guys because we've got a lot of information to cram in. So um, hopefully you guys do appreciate that. But anyway, up next, some really cool cards, which I'm very much looking forward to. Blaziken. We knew Blaziken was coming. Um, and this is a Rapid Strike card as well. So very, very cool. And the alternate artwork of this card and the full art is absolutely incredible. So we're going to be looking at that in a second. But here is the Blaziken. This artwork is amazing. It looks like it's doing like a fire kick or something or a blaze kick. Um, very cool. Then we have the VMAX as well. Like the artwork on this just looks insane. Really, 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 really happy with this card. I think it's going to look amazing in person as well. The texture will be really nice. Um, and that's the thing. Like we can look at these digital cards. 
and they do look really cool but at the same time they're just completely different when you have them in like hand it just looks insane we have a volcanium which is a fire type um sometimes can get passed off as a water type as well so very cool to see that um we'll skip on to the next one now we're onto the water type pokemon um so some really cool cards in here nothing like too special but we do have this um ice rider calyrex which is really cool I think we're getting the alternate artwork in these as well, which is insane. So we'll um, we'll just blaze through these real quick. Here's the VMAX as well. Very, very nice. But I, if I'm being honest, the alternate artworks absolutely knock it out of the park compared to the Vs. We have a Zero Aura V. The alternate artwork of this card is amazing as well. Like I'm just gassing this set up. But honestly, this set is incredible. There are 233 cards in this set. We have a Galarian Articuno. Which is really cool. We have the three birds returning. Um, if you have seen um, the... I think they're in Matchless Fighters. The alternate artwork cards are insane. And they're actually making it to Chilling Rain. This set, in my opinion, is actually going to be so collectible. There are so many cool cards in. And I think a lot of people are going to want to collect this set. Because there are some amazing cards. Here is the Zapdos or Galarian Zapdos. AKA Roadrunner, in my opinion. You'll see in a bit when I uh, I show you the alternate artwork. I say it all the time. We get Sandaconda, which isn't getting the alternate artwork as mentioned. We've got the VMAX as well, which literally looks insane. I really like that, even though Sandaconda is not a very like popular Pokemon for me. Uh, we have the Galarian Moltres, which is a dark type. In my opinion, the alternate artwork of this one is insane. We have a Slowking V, as well as the VMAX. It'll be interesting to see if we get the alternate artwork for that. I haven't actually checked. Um, and then we'll keep flying down. We're just busting through these real quick. We get a Metacross. Uh, uh, we also get a VMAX Metacross as well. Very cool, which is a Rapid Strike as well, worth noting. Um, now, let's just fly on to the, the big cards. By the way, just worth noting, we actually do get the Tornadus as well. Uh, yeah, Tornadus is the Tornadus VMAX, which is a single strike. Um, but yeah, we wanted to look at the rare cards, the secret rares, the alternate arts. There are so many in this set. So we have the full arts here. Here is the Blaziken, like I mentioned. I think this card is stunning. I absolutely want to collect that. Um, we have the the, uh, the full art of the uh, Ice Rider Calyrex, but also the alternate art. Just chilling on an ice lake, which looks insane. Uh, the Zera Aura full art. Like, honestly, guys, these cards look amazing. Here is the alternate artwork, which just in my... This looks like a shot from a film. Like, it just looks sick. It just looks really cool. We've got Rapidash. Uh, here are the uh, the full art Articuno. No, this is the alternate art, sorry. There is the full art right there. Very cool. The full art and uh, alternate art of the ice. No, the Shadow Rider Calyrex. Very cool as well. And the forest looks very mysterious. Here is the uh, full art Zapdos. And then the alternate art, which I think is amazing. I absolutely love this card. I just love it. And it reminds me of Roadrunner, as I always say. Um, let me know in the comment section if you agree. And let me know also in the comment section, guys, your favorite card so far that you've seen. Here is the alternate artwork of the Moltres. Look how unreal this looks. It's like... It's like nighttime in the forest. You've got the full moon behind it. You've got all these eyes in the forest as well in the trees. Very, very, very cool. Oh, we do get the alternate art Slow King. Very cool. Love that. Absolutely love that. Um, and then we have the alternate art of the Tornadus right there. Very cool. You've got Score Bunny getting blown out of the uh, tree. Very, like, very, very cool. I like that a lot. Here are some of the trainer cards, um, which are really awesome as well. And then let's look at some of the rainbow rares. So we get Celebi rainbow rare. Here is the alternate art Blaziken VMAX. I think this is awesome. I've never really seen a card like this. And I really, really like it. Genuinely love it. I think it's awesome. Um, and then we have the alternate artwork Ice Rider Calyrex. Jumping over a village. This card looks insane. I think in person it's going to be amazing as well. Um, and here is probably the, one of the best ones with the Shadow oh, the Shadow Rider uh, Calyrex. Look how amazing this card looks. This picture doesn't do it uh, justice. This card is going to be amazing. I think this is going to be one of the most sought after cards in the set as well. So if you manage to pull that, GG. Um, you've probably got one of the rarest cards in the set. Uh, we just got some Rainbow Rare um, trainer cards as, as you usually get in most sets. Very cool. Uh, and then the gold secret rares, we have an electrode, which is a shiny. Now, the Sword and Shield are doing this thing where all the gold cards with that are Pokemon, they're actually in shiny form, which I'm a massive fan on. I think they've done a really good job with that. Uh, so we have a gold card uh, electrode, which looks sick, which is shiny. We have a shiny bronzong, which is very playable in the TCG as well. So that card could be quite useful. And then we have a gold Snorlax. Uh, this looks amazing. Like honestly, very, very cool. And I know a lot of you guys uh, who follow me 
are a massive Snorlax fan, so I know a lot of you guys are going to want that card. We have a gold echoing horn. Very cool, which is rapid strike. Don't know what it does, but very nice. We have a gold fan of waves, which is awesome. This card looks sick as well. Fog crystal. Like, that looks sick. And then we also have a gold rugged helmet. Like, I think all of these gold cards are really cool. Like, I love the artwork. I love, I just love what they are. Um, and they look sick. We have a gold um, urn of vitality. And then we also have a gold welcoming lantern right here. Um, but then we also have to finish it off three gold energy cards. We have a gold water. We have a gold psychic. And a gold fighting energy. Which um, I think they're going to start doing more of. Maybe by the end of the Sword and Shield era we'll have a complete uh, gold energy card. Um, like every single one. Which would be really cool. Let me know if you guys will collect that. But um, yeah, like like I said, this set is incredible. Here are all the stuff you can buy as well. We've got the booster box right here. We have five artworks, which is the first in, I think, I think they've ever done. We have all three birds. We have then the um, the Shadow and Ice Calyrex, uh, Ice Rider Calyrex. Then we have the ETVs, one of each as well. And then you've got the three pack blisters, um, the battle, build and battle kit, which contain these four promos. So they're the only way you can get them. And uh, then we have the little binders as well, which is really cool. So some amazing cards in this set. Like I mentioned, guys, the ones for me are probably these ones. The Ice Rider and Shadow Rider Calyrex Alternate Arts. The Birds for definite um, because they are going to be very, very sought after. For instance, this Moltres. Look how incredible that is. We've got the um, we've got the Articuno here as well. And I think I've gone past the... Uh, the here it is the zapdos so this this set is going to be insane guys honestly it's going to be so so hype there are so many cards and it's got 233 so it's going to be a big one to collect there are so many cool cards let me know the cards you want the most out of the card list i've showed you um but that is it that's the official cards coming to chilling rain oh actually they were the ones that were cut i forgot to show you guys so the cards that were cut from this set there was a wishy-washy which to be honest i'm not too bothered about uh, we have the Dracozolt as well, which to be honest, I'm not bothered about either. Uh, the VMAX right here as well. And then we also have this uh, Rapidash. And I think that is the main thing that was dropped. The others were just like non-hollows. Oh, the full, art, the full art versions, pardon me, as well. Which actually looks pretty cool, that one. And then the Rainbow Rare, which also looks kind of cool. But at the same time, I think the cards that they picked are better. So... In my opinion, Pokemon have done a great job with the cards that they cut. I'm not too bothered. Let me know if you are in the comment section if you wanted a Dracozolt V. Uh, but in my opinion, I think they've kept the best ones in the set. So yeah, that is the official card list, guys. Hopefully you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please hit that thumbs up. And if you are new, be sure to subscribe. Thank you to everyone who's supporting by hitting that thumbs up and subscribing. We're on the road to 6,000 subscribers. So big shout out to you. I'll see you in the next video. I've got a vlog coming very soon, which is very cool with some very cool friends. And uh, be sure to check that out. But yeah, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Have a great rest of your day. But until then, I am out.